Well, friends come and friends go. And I'm sorry to say that two of our good friends have gone. David and Kristen's families have moved. We won't be hearing their stories anymore, but they'll always be a part of the Midnight Society. We'll miss them. But that means that we have room for two new members. Betty Ann? My friend Sam wants to join, but needs time to work on an initiation story. Well, that's cool. No rush. I've got someone I want to sponsor, and I brought him here tonight. He's ready. So bring him on. Kind of small, isn't he? Small? I'll show you small. Oh, man, not a chance. No, no way. Come on, man, not your little brother. I've got no choice. I've either got to bring him or I can't come anymore. You're kidding. Hey, we're not babysitters, you know? Members got to tell stories. If you scabs would lighten up, maybe I could tell one. Listen, give him a chance. You'd really have to quit? Yeah, yeah, I know. Tucker, this better be good, or I'm gonna let Frank pound you. Okay. You guys make up ghost stories all the time, but there are some ghost stories that have been around for so long that it makes you wonder if maybe, just maybe, they might not be made up. My story is about a famous ghost and about a legend that's so popular it just won't die. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story The Tale of the Midnight Bride. They called him the Headless Horseman. Legend says he was a soldier who had his head ripped off by a stray cannonball. Night after night, his ghost would ride through the countryside near Sleepy Hollow, searching for a new head and a victim to steal it from. Then, one Halloween night, a lonely schoolmaster named Ichabod Crane took a wrong turn in the woods and was chased down by the demon ghost. Ichabod rode like crazy to get to the Bridge of Souls, a bridge the Headless Horseman could never cross. But he didn't make it, and poor Ichabod was never seen again. Ever since then, on Halloween night, the ghost of the Headless Horseman and Ichabod Crane returned to Sleepy Hollow to ride again. Or so the legend says. Ian Matthews just moved to Sleepy Hollow and was trying hard to make friends. But like everything Ian did, sometimes he tried a little too hard. Heads up! Brad! Sorry, babe. Um, um, please allow me. Oh, thanks. He really burns me sometimes. Hi, um, I'm Ian. I'm Katie. Um, aren't we in the same lake class? I sit by the window. Uh, yeah, we are. What is all this stuff? Oh, it's decorations for the Halloween dance tonight. Uh, tonight? Uh, hey, I'm available if you need any help. Really? Well, that'd be great. I could use all the. No, look what he did. I was gonna help. If you want to help, you can get this fixed prono. You know, and bring it inside. You know, because we'll be setting up for the dance. Put moves on Katie. Not if he wants to live. So, how do you like Sleepy Hollow? It's nice, but you know, kind of boring compared to the city, but it, it's nice. You're from the city? Yeah, I just moved in this summer. Need some help, babe? No thanks, babe. We're almost done. 
So I uh, want to dance with me or what? Brad, how many ways do I have to say it? It's over. We don't go out anymore. Look, I'll say when we don't go out anymore. <laughs> Good thing you've got such a hard head. Sorry about that. So are uh, you going to the dance tonight? Why are you asking? <laughs> you stay away from her, unless you want to walk around toothless. I don't believe it. I'm sorry. You can be really juvenile sometimes. It can be really scary, too. <laughs> don't let it bother you. Are you coming tonight? Wouldn't miss it. Great. Save an answer for me. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Kind of a goofy guy, and everybody thought he was pretty funny. Well, almost everybody. Ian didn't know it, but he was walking through some very dangerous territory. Thanks. Call me crazy, but you know, I don't think she wants to talk to you. It's okay, Ian. Excuse me? I think you should leave her alone. Oh. Brad! All right. You. Oops. Brad, don't do this. Put your fist down, geek. Uh, I'd rather not. Look, I don't want to fight you. I'm going to do you a favor. Uh, uh, good, I think. Brad, cut the macho stuff. It's old. You know the legend of Sleepy Hollow? Uh, yes, yeah, sorta. Well, let me refresh your memory. It was Halloween night, back in 1700-whatever, when Ichabod Crane came to a fork in the road. Now, he should have gone left, but he went right. So, instead of getting to the Bridge of Souls, a bridge the Headless Horseman could never cross over, he went deeper into the woods. Yeah, I know, the Headless Horseman threw a pumpkin and took his head, so what? So, it's Halloween! And we have a tradition here in Sleepy Hollow. When some new guy shows up, he's gotta be initiated. Oh, please. What, are you gonna take my head? Not exactly. See, the old bridge is still there, just like in the story. It's through the park and into the woods. Yes, yeah, so. So what you gotta do is go to the bridge, get the Headless Horseman's pumpkin, just like we all did. Come on, Ian, you don't have to. You're, you're kidding, right? You got a choice. Go get the pumpkin, we'll cut you some slack. Don't get it, and you can put your fist back up. Well, uh, since I don't believe in uh, ghosts, I'll uh, take my chance with the pumpkin. Have fun. This isn't a tradition. 
You don't have to do this. Hey, it's okay. You know, I'll play a little game, get it over with, save an answer for me. Fork in the road. Okay, goodbye. Which way to the bridge? You went right. I'm going left. Okay, guys, where's the pump? <laughs> nice touch. <laughs> yeah, ha, ha, Brad, I know it's you. Break! You guys aren't. Oh. 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 Help! 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 No! No! Don't take my hand! No! Boom! <laughs> oh man, this is gonna go down in history! Help! Help! Don't take my hand! Ian, are you okay? Don't mess with me, you little weasel. I'll take your head off myself. Let's go, Katie. I'm staying with Ian. Would you forget this loser? Brad, I'm sick of your stupid games. Why don't you just take your traveling circus, please, and leave me alone? Hey, do whatever you want. Just remember, it's Halloween. And I don't think your pal here has the guts to stand up to the real head this horseman if he shows up. Ian, I'm, I'm really sorry. No, no, hey, I like ridicule. I can't wait for school on Monday, because, you know, I'm going to get tons. Listen, would you walk me home? Tease the one thing that would make this horrible night worthwhile, my lady. Take thee my muddy arm. Brad never would have come out here by himself. Hey, you're shivering. Take my jacket. No, I'm okay. Oh. It was brave how you stood up to Brad at the dance, too. Yeah, right. Brave and stupid. No, it's about time someone stood up to... Hey, listen, you hear that? It's a horse. Does Brad ride? I don't think so. I, uh, think we better... <laughs> Good evening, children. Oh, I didn't mean to startle you. 
I'm afraid I've lost my way in these wretched woods. Would you be so kind as to direct me to the Bridge of Souls? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, take a left at the fork. Oh, lucky thing. I surely would have taken a right. Thank you kindly. Who are you? Crane. Ichabod Crane, the new schoolmaster. Good evening. You gotta be. Hey, wh where'd he go? L let's get you home. Let's. Ian, I'm really glad I met you. Me too. Uh, I mean, I'm glad I met you. <laughs> Uh, at the risk of needing dental work, I, uh, I, I'd like to see you again. Uh, me too. I mean, I'd like to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just remember my bike. Um, I, I, I left, I left it at the school. Good night. Good night. Spooking yourself, Ian, old boy. Oh, come on. Brad! Brad, I'm not buying it. Man, this guy is good. Oh no, the key guy. I forgot my stupid jacket. Forget it. I'm out of here. Ah! Ew, it's just me. What are you doing here? Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks, you know, but I, I, I could have gotten it tomorrow. Uh, uh, come on, I'll, I'll ride you home. Relax. Why are you so nervous? You know, Brad, the bridge, you know that real wacky guy in that costume? You know, let's just pretend none of this ever happened. Ian? It did. I've had it. Enough's enough, Brad, all right? She doesn't like you anymore. You want to fight, we'll fight. But stop with the stupid games! Say what? <laughs> Legend of Sleepy Hollow just stopping a legend. Look. Ah! <laughs> Meet your brother, pal. Drink my head. This can't be, can it? Katie, the thing came out of the world. This is no joke. It's the Hellas Horseman. I Ichabod Crane. Yeah, uh, except we told old Ichabod how to get to the bridge. We changed the story. Now it's after us. There's only one thing we can do. What? We gotta play the story out. We gotta get to the bridge. You can't cross it. Oh, no, if you think I'm going... Ah! <laughs> I think we lost him. Yeah, you never think we'd be stupid enough to come back here. Get 
both of us. I'll distract him. You run for the bridge. He'll get you! You, you got a better idea? Yeah, I'll distract him. No! Works both ways. Yes, not. The bridge! And I thought this place was boring. It worked! We set the story straight. Wonderful. You children should not be out so late and on Halloween to boot. They say these woods are <laughs> haunted, you know. Why are you coming back? Oh, I'm afraid I've totally lost my way. I think it best to go back to the fork and take the right path. That should set things straight. Uh, yeah. I think it probably will. Take care. Beware the headless horseman. Happy Halloween. You'll do. Excellent. Just keep him out of my face. Yes! <laughs> nice going, bro. Welcome to the Midnight Society. You put out the fire. I'm gonna catch up. Thank you. 